Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Football 2023. And I know the college football season is now over, but we're going to keep going because I I can't let myself fail at this. Uh, I, I feel I feel bad if I fail uh, at a video game. So we're gonna we're gonna keep plugging away here. And I was just over here looking at the top twenty five, and you know. I, <laughs> I like some of the changes. Look at this. You got Colorado State ranked fourth in the country. Maryland fifth. Toledo is the sixth ranked team in the country. South Florida in there at 14. Vandy making an appearance at 15. Uh, Navy in the top 25. North Texas in the top 25. I see no Alabama in the top 25 at all. That's interesting. Uh, not that I have room to talk. We're two and four. And uh, we were ranked. Right, we were ranked, um, but uh, not so much anymore. Did I do my recruiting at the end of last episode? I can't remember. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, we we lost a lot of interest. That game really did a number on us, unfortunately. But um, we're going to. We got a couple players that are interested, so let's try to. Try to get some of these guys locked down. We got plenty of scouting money left. Yeah, these guys are not interested in us. I'm going to stick with Kari Strauss, though, because he only has the two offers. Um, same thing with the other ones, because they only have the two offers. Once that number goes up into double digits, I'll probably walk away from it at that point. But yeah, like Gary Landry has nine. So let's take back our recruiting money. Let's hide. Uh, so we have a couple of, let's put some more here and here. And then Brady McClellan has no interest in us. All right, so let's go ahead and hide him. Uh, Lionel Meyer, we do need a wide receiver. It's not showing any interest in us just yet, though. We do have Theodore Ortega, who's showing some interest, which is good. Um, so let's go in and let's look at um, uncommitteds and see what we can see from, uh, you know, who has one offer or no offers. We got the number 95 overall quarterback. Yeah, I mean, he only has two offers. So let's, you know, see if that makes any difference. My guess is probably not, but we will see. And then from there, I'm looking for people who have one offer or none. And we'll just bring in talent, right? Just bring in talent. It's Freeman, yeah, we've already got him. We're the only one to make him an offer so far. So hopefully the interest comes here with time. Uh, I got a defensive tackle with only one offer. Sure, a fullback, sure. Make sure we interview both of them. Uh, Robert Kurtz. We don't have any offers left. All right. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, one of the things that I didn't do, so we will do it right now, is I want to take a look. I said I was going to do this at the end of last episode, and I just forgot. So let's, uh, what am I doing? Custom playbook. I want to look at. So yeah, he has what's that 120 plays in the playbook. So I think I want to come in here and let's add some plays. I want to add mostly running plays. Let's try or passing plays rather. Let's try some pro set. I want to be able to throw the ball to my tight end. I like throwing the ball to my tight end. I think we have a pretty solid tight end there. But I definitely want to add. And he also suggested that I jack up the... Um, we need a fly pattern in there. Uh, jack up the... Um, the uh, percentage at which we pass the ball on second and third and long. So that's something I'll take a look at as well. Short post. 
X out. All of the running backs a little bit. Uh, let's go back into the shotgun. Don't want to call any pistols. Receiver reads. Shotgun quick slants. So this, if nothing else, will give my offensive coordinator some additional passing um, opportunities or, or, or options, which is kind of what I want. Uh, so if we're in the two tight end, what do we have for tight end bubble screen? Sure. Um, spread. Yeah, I called a lot here, but that's fine. RPO, I, I, we can call a couple, we can put a couple of RPOs in there. All right, so we've up to 100 and whatever that is, 105, 110 plays, 59 of them passes, 46 of them runs. All right, so now if we go into play calling, uh, second and long, this should be, he said, jack these way up. So I'll put them in the 70 and 75 range. Fourth and long, like why wouldn't you pass the ball 90% of the time on fourth and long? 80% on fourth and medium. Not sure what first and long is, but we're going to pass it on more on first and long more. All right, so there we go. All right, let's see. I, and we're taking on Clemson, so I, we're going to be two and five, right? When this is all said and done, but but hopefully after this game, we can we can start to make a little bit of headway. <laughs> First highlights of pick six, thirty seconds into the game, terrific. We're down fourteen nothing, a minute and a half into the game. There's another interception. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and just finish this game off. I don't need to watch the highlights for this one. I mean, we made it interesting enough, I guess. Uh, but two pick sixes in the first. Uh, not a good game for Clancy. Uh, we threw the ball a little bit more, which is good. I mean, he was 22 of 31. Just a couple of picks. Campbell had a good game. Tisdale, six for 66, six for 56. Bell had an interception. Tally with a nice game. Four knockdowns, a sack, a couple of hurries. All right. No, we're two and five. And now is when hopefully we can start to make a little bit of headway here as I think, I don't want to say our schedule lightens up, but we at least have some games against some teams that aren't in the top 25. NC State, Syracuse, North Carolina, Louisville. I mean, we need all four of those games, right? I mean, we need them all to really give us a shot here. All right, so we lost a couple of players, including one that had some interest in us. That's a bit disconcerting, but that's okay. All right, so we've got Warm here, so let's offer him a scholarship and see if we can just get that linebacker locked in. Yeah, we've lost a lot of interest. All right, Strauss is up to seven offers. We're going to go ahead and pull the offer and hide. Neil, we can offer the scholarship, because why not? Um, yeah, Spite no longer has any interest because we keep losing. I mean, I don't blame him. Uh, what's up? Gardner. Let's invite him to a game, I guess. Messenger, we'll invite him as well. Make sure we get scouting in on all these guys because we do need a quarterback. We absolutely 100% need a quarterback. Uh, Bruce Jessup, let's invite him to a game and make a phone call. Um, I think we're, yeah, these guys still, I mean, Ed Christie, four offers now. Yeah. I still feel like we can, if we can make a run here, I still feel like we can. Um, uh, I still feel like we can we can make a dent and, and and you know maybe make a run at some of these players. Spencer only has two offers. I, 
Mm. I don't know what to do there. Uh, Robert Mueller only has one, so we're going to offer him. See if we can get some interest from a top 200 center. Uh, quarterback there with only two offers. Let's offer him. We'll do the same thing. See if we can make generate some interest there late in the season. No offers left. So let's look at our targets. Uh, we have 9K left in recruiting. Let's put it all into Lionel Meyer. All right. This is a big game. This is a test right here, right? Because we we went through kind of that. I mean, that game against UMass was a bad loss, but then we played a bunch of ranked teams. So this is sort of a, a, a test for us as we, I don't want to say come back to earth, but play teams kind of more on our level. So let's see how this one goes. First play is a sack. Or in tally. We have the ball now. Back to pass. And there is a touchdown for BC. They're going to get a touchdown right on the other end. 7-7. Seven, seven. Looks like we're coming down the other direction. There's a running score. They're going to get a touchdown right down at the other end. Option play, 14-14. Oh, no. Are they going to get another touchdown? Looks like they might here right at the end of the half. Uh, are we down by two scores? 21-14. All right, we have the ball on the one. There's another touchdown pass, 21-21. We have the ball on the one with 218 left. There's another touchdown run, and we're up 38-21. to Not sure what happened there in the fourth quarter, but I will take it as we emerge victorious. That's a much-needed victory for the Eagles. We win 38 -21 to 28. Tisdale from Clancy. Kennedy with a four-yard run. Gene Brown with a touchdown catch. Campbell with a 51-yard run. Kennedy with a one-yard run. So uh, Clancy, 17 of 20, a buck 61 and two touchdowns. We ran for 250 yards. Campbell, a buck 31. Woodruff, 73. Tisdale and Brown both had touchdown receptions. Campbell's approaching 1,000 yards. That would be our first 1,000-yard rusher. Uh, we picked off Woodall once. Sack from Tally. Sophomore having a nice year. Sack from Abreu. Who had the pick? Pew. Alan Pew, the senior. All right, so we picked up a win. There we go. Can we get to six? Right, six is the magic number. It's Syracuse at home. Happy you rejected our offer. Let's delete, see where we stand. We still only have one commit so far. That's the wide receiver. Hopefully that game did a bit for us. Yeah, it looks like it generated some cool interest from some people that we didn't have interest in before. All right, so we have nine outreach hours. Make sure we get that maxed out. can remove the scholarship offer here. He's not coming to us. All right. So Pollard, we've done everything we can do with Pollard. Done everything we can do with Spite. Givens, Gardner, McCullough, Messenger, Roden, Jessup. So let's take a look and let's make sure that everybody that we are interested in comes to a game. So we have five outreach hours left. Let's put it into, he's not quick, but he's got a good arm and he's accurate. Let's put it into Bruce Jessup. Do a home visit there. We have two scholarships remaining, but we don't have any recruiting money left. I think we can probably take Hartman off the list. I figured I'd give it a shot, see if we could generate that, that week one interest. Um... Lionel Meyer, still no interest there. Scholarship there. I 
And let's get recruiting maxed out on these guys. I don't suspect it's going to matter, but let's get recruiting maxed out on those guys. All right. Uh, let's go. We got the Orange coming to town. So we bounced back with a victory. Let's see how this game goes. See if we can win two in a row. First highlight is for us. And it's touchdown pass. Richard Gunn. We're on the 45, and that's an interception. Syracuse now running around the right side. Fumble recovered by, I'm not sure who. It's our ball, though, on the 25. Second quarter, back to pass. Pass is er, fumble by them, but we but they recovered it. We have the ball on their three, and there's a touchdown run, and we're up 20 to nothing. Looks like they're going to get a score here in the first half. They do. 20 to seven. Oh, big play by Syracuse there. We have the ball on our 10, and they go in for a score, and they're winning 23 to 20. Going to lose to Syracuse. And it looks like we are. Yep. We are going to lose to Syracuse. We give up 17 fourth quarter points. Uh. Right, when we get a touchdown there, whoa, how are we winning? How are we winning? Clancy to Brown for 30 for 32 yards. Is that the last play of the game? That was a wild fourth quarter. And we do. We beat Syracuse 33 to 30. Look at Clancy, 20 of 34 for 300 yards. Tisdale, Barkley. Barkley and Brown, two touchdowns in the final 90 seconds. Curry got the start, had 118 yards. Campbell, Valenti. Huh, interesting. So we didn't generate a ton of, well, I guess we did. We had 461 yards. Uh, it was spread out amongst five players pretty nicely. That's nice to see. Gunn and Tisdale each had five. Waldrop four, Barclay and Brown had three. Um, Clancy, yeah, four touchdown passes for Clancy. Having a nice sophomore season. 11 touchdowns, only four picks. If he can stay healthy, we'll be in good shape. We had an interception from Rash. Also, fumble recovery for the junior. And we win two in a row. <clears throat> North Carolina coming up. And so nobody committed, but nobody decommitted, or nobody, nobody that we were interested in committed elsewhere, which is good. But we got to start getting some people locked down here. Um, oh, we need a scholarship offer for this fullback. McCullough has got cool interest, but he's got 11 offers. And the other McCullough, McCullough and McCulloch. Uh, we will remove the scholarship offer there. All right, uh, let's invite Roden to a game. Let's invite no, he's the 2000th ranked recruit. I'm not really all that interested in him, to be honest. Um, Givens, we're still the only one to offer Givens, but let's, yeah, I mean, let's go all in. Uh, invite to a game. Who is this? This is Lionel Meyer. Let's invite him to a game. Bump that up. Um, I don't think we're getting any of these guys. I hate to remove scholarship offers from players that only have three offers being made. I really do. Let's start cleaning this up a little bit so that we can see exactly where we stand. So we've got a little bit of money in recruiting. 
So let's go to uncommitteds again. I just go right to page three. Uh, it's just easier. Carlton Bigelow only has two offers, so we can. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? See if if that generates some interest. Owen Burrow, we have him hidden. Sandlin has two offers. Sure. Linebacker with only two offers. You know I can't pass up a good linebacker, right? Um, Hector Givens, we're still the only one to offer him a scholarship. Austin Gardner, we're one of two teams. Alfred Edwards only has one offer. Jed Franco. Is there anybody? Who's the best player with no offer? We've got a, ooh, a kicker. Might be a good idea to bring in a kicker. We've got the scholarship. Or we've got the scholarships. So why not? Why not? James Anderson, a defensive tackle. Benton only has one offer. Oops, we don't have enough. All right, let's go back to targets again and Yeah, I it's, these guys aren't coming to us. They're just not. Ah, I can't. I'm going to leave it. They only have 3 offers. So we're just going to stick with the way it is. Can we win 3 in a row? That's the big thing. Can we win three in a row here? We got North Carolina at home. Let's see how it goes. First highlight is for us. Might be a fumble. Covered by us. There's a touchdown run. There's an interception by Rauch. Seven nothing. We're gonna turn it right back over. It's gonna be a sack. They have the ball in the third. There's a big play for them. Tackle him. Tackle him. We're in the fourth. I have no idea what the score is. We are down thirteen to ten. We have the ball on the twelve. I still don't know what the score is. A touchdown pass. Ah, tackle him, catch him, catch him, please. Nope. We're down twenty to thirteen. Big play there. Going to be a touchdown. It looks like it might. All right, so what's going on here? We're down. Yeah, we lose. All right. <sighs> Damn. That was the big one because that was going, that was potentially win number six for us. Ninety-nine yard touchdown run. Yeah, that was the backbreaker right there. That was the backbreaker. Lancy, nineteen to thirty-two, two forty. Touchdown to Christopher Freeman. The last, well, one of the last plays of the game. Oh, yeah, look at that running game. 20 carries for 223 yards. North Carolina shredded us. Interception from Roush. So we're going to have to beat a top 25 team to be bowl eligible this year. We're going to have to beat Louisville. And then we are going to have to beat. Oh, they're not ranked anymore. Beat Miami in order to uh, uh, to be. So we're going to have to win our last two to be bowl eligible. All right. So we got Bruce Jessup and Jimmy Williams. We got a couple of 400 level recruits. 
Some players uh, rejected us. That's fine. That should clear up a lot of our recruiting, make things a lot clearer for us. So we get a quarterback, we get a linebacker, and we get a, uh, a wide receiver. Jessup, high work ethic. Yeah, B-plus accuracy, B-plus arm. I like to see that. A pocket passer, but that's okay. And then Jimmy Williams, B-minus speed, B-tackling. Okay. Cool. Targets, actions. All right. So, uh, we have nine outreach hours. Hector Givens, let's invite him to a game. Desmond Martinez has seven offers. He's not going to come to us. Let's go ahead and remove. Gennaro Allen lost one of his uh, lost one of his scholarship offers. So let's let's lean into this a little bit here and see what we can do. So we have six scholarship offers remaining. Uh, uncommitted. and looking for ones and twos. David Fenton, Michael Monaco, a defensive end. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, why not? Let's take a shot at him. Owen Burrow. I, yeah, I mean, he's got one scholarship offer and he wasn't showing any interest in this at all. I kind of feel like I want to readdress this. I kind of feel like I want to readdress that. All right, now let's just find the best players with no offers. Let's do it this way. All right, so Lance Cardins. Let's just offer the to the 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 best players here with no off with uh, with no scholarship offers. Let's do it that way. Uh, targets. I think that's how I want to do it. Let's pull back there and go here. All right. All right. Now, well, let's see how it goes. So if we win this game against Louisville at home, we got an opportunity to be bowl eligible next week if we can beat Miami. So, but it means we have to win this game. That's first and foremost. And we're going to get sacked on the first play of the game. We get an interception from Ortega. They're going to get a touchdown there. Big play. Yeah, we're not going to beat Louisville. Are we going to finish four and seven or whatever this year? Can't get anything going offensively. 21 to three. 21 to six. I mean, it's still early, but still. You got a fumble there. Back to pass. There's a touchdown. 21-20. We make a comeback here in the second quarter. Turnover helped. Another sack. It's our ball. There's a pass completion. Is that going to be a touchdown? To, to It is, I think. Our ball again, third and 25, though. Throw it. 26 21 in the third. There's another interception. Claude Smith. Ooh, they're now down deep in our territory. We get a touchdown. 29 27, Boston College. Uh. Man, that's discouraging. No, we're going to finish five and seven, four and eight, something like that. But yeah, it just feels weird because we're hanging in there, hanging in there. We had 436 yards of offense. Our offense 
with the way we have it set up now, seems to be performing quite well. But we're just not able to get the stops we need. Roush with a sack, a forced fumble, and a fumble uh, recovery. Smith and Bell each had picks. Running game struggled. And we lose again. Four and seven. So we're not going to be bowl eligible, I don't think. I don't think you can get into a bowl with five wins. Did we get any recruits this week, even though we lost to Louisville? We lost Bigelow and Arroyo. Okay. All right, so Monaco's got 12 offers now, so we can go ahead and do that. Um... Benton has six offers. Givens, let's just try to get as many of these guys committed as we can. Hmm. All right. Uh, defensive end, defensive tackle, sure. Back to targets. Let's go ahead and put some money in there. And who can we call who we haven't, who still has some interest in us? Right there. Messenger, we've got him maxed out. We still have 5K. Yeah, Burrow's up to three offers now. He's likely not to come to us, but that's fine. All right. So we're going to play, well, quote-unquote, play the game. Here against Miami. It's in Miami. Um, can we, you know, before we do that, to hear sound off. Sounds off because they're really, really loud. All right. So we will defer. Let's kick off. Just call the play, the defensive play that they call. Pick up short gain. A second play is a pass over the middle for a first down. Game for a short play, short gain, or rather. Second and nine, pass is incomplete. Third and nine, pass is incomplete. All right, so we stop, hold them on the. Let me go. Hold them on the first, uh, first possession of the game. Road win in Miami would be a nice way to end the season, I guess. Run to the right. Big gain right off the bat. Second and seven. Pass is complete. Third and inches. Probably should have run the ball. Yeah, and you know what? Who cares? We are uh, we are not going anywhere this year. So let's. Uh, Let's let's do what we can. Now let's just push it. And we get the first down on fourth and inches. Second and five. Back to throw. Pass is complete to Brad Curtis for a first down. Pass complete for a couple. Third and four. the ball in the 19. Stop there. Second and nine. Run to the right. Picks up about five. 
third and four, and we stop him again. Uh, bu -bu 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 special teams, punt return. Oh, good kick. Wow, really good kick. That's not a good play. That's not a good play. Just run it on third and long from inside our own 10. It's the right play. Three and out. And they're going to have good field position here on our side of the 50. Is this the drive where they, uh, they take an early lead? Second and three. Out of bounds, third and two. Pass complete first and 10. Run for no gain. Run for five. Third and five. And there's the touchdown. And I shut the sound off, but the sound is still playing, so I apologize for that. Is what it is. All right. Under the right, make it third and two. Fourth and one, and yep, we're going for it again. And we get the first down. Good old jet sweep. Second and eight. Pass is incomplete. Third and eight. I saw fourth and 23, so there's a big sack. Oh, and a penalty on us. Fourth and 33. Let's go, Eagles. So they start on our side of the 50 yet again. And they pick up a first down. It's going to be one of those games that by the third quarter, I'm ready to just shut it off, isn't it? Yep. As they are marching downfield here again. If we can hold them to a field goal. That'll be nice, but I'm not expecting that. Third down run. We stop them. Okay. They're going to attempt a field goal. Interesting. Good return out to the 39. Pass is incomplete. Third and five. Hey, we get a first down as Waldrop makes the catch from Clancy. We're on their side of the 50. Second and eight. Clancy back to throw, completes the pass. First and 10. Clancy back to pass again. That's incomplete. Dive play on second and 10. Let's go. Third and eight. Clancy back to pass, completes it. Fourth and two. We will attempt the field goal just to get on the board here, hopefully. It's good. Turn out to the 40. They've had some good field position on their last few drives. Second and nine. Pass is complete. Third and nine. Looks like they pick up a first down on third and nine. On a pass to the fullback. Yes, they do. Yeah, we haven't been able to stop them on like their last four possessions. I think it's three possessions. And it's chunky chunks, right? They're doing it in chunks. Six yards, seven yards, ten yards. And there's another seven. There's another seven. I don't know what just happened. Oh, they kicked the field goal. I didn't realize we were at the end of the first half. All right. Okay, so we're hanging in there. And we're only down ten. Let's just run it here.
All right, so that's the end of the half. Uh, if we look at the box score, they had a 19-yard touchdown run. We had a field goal. They had a couple of field goals. Not much to talk about here. They had 140 yards offense. We had 113. Either team really getting it done offensively or defense or, 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 or excuse me, neither team getting it done offensively. Lancey, 8 for 13, 59 yards. McIntyre, 8 for 12, 85. Yeah, they just had the one long drive. So we get the ball to start the second half. See if we can do something here. Start with a dive to the right on first and 10. And that's a big run. Big run there for Campbell for 20. Now Clancy back to throw. Pass is complete, and we are in their territory on two plays. Run up the middle. Good for five. Pass is complete. Touchdown, Eagles. There we go. Clancy the gun for 37 yards and a touchdown. And we make this a three-point game. Now we just need to play some defense. We haven't been able we we got it. We we sent them down, was it three and out on their first possession, but that was it. They've been driving up and down the field ever since. Second and seven. Third and six. Neutral zone infraction, because of course, another neutral zone infraction. Their quarterback is hurt now, though. They have their backup out there. Pass is complete to the fullback. Second and eight. Third and two. Pick up the first. Middle, second and nine, illegal formation, second and 14. Pass is incomplete, third and 14. They run it on third and 14, and uh, oh, come on. Third and 14, and they're going to get the first down. Always, oh, turnover on downs. All right, let's go. This is the the negativity in me coming out here when when the team just doesn't play well. It's super frustrating. All right, first and ten. Pass is incomplete. Defensive holding. Play result was ten yards. Except, no, we'll take the play instead. First and ten. Run up the middle by Campbell for five. Third and five, pass is incomplete. All right, we're going to sweep on third and five. Okay. We get it. Oh, we got it and more. Yeah. Valenti, four, seven. Can end around. Yeah, these end arounds just don't work. Blanker sweep, that one worked. Picked up six. Third and two. You get the first down, but it's called for holding. So it's third and 12 now. Fourth and nine. Yeah, I mean, we got to go for it. We get the first down and more. There we go. Two gun for 16. Running back to the right. Nothing doing there. Run up the middle. Third and four. Sprint to the left. Another running play on third down. And we get it. Valenti picks up the first. Lancey back to pass. Complete. Touchdown, Eagles. To ground for 12 yards. Point is up and good. And we lead 17-13. is complete there. They still have their backup quarterback out there, which is a good thing for us. Sack. Third and five. Good play there. Pass is incomplete. Second and ten. Now it's, I saw first and ten, so they get the first down. Saw first and goal. All right, so they... Come right back after we pick up a couple of touchdowns and get themselves into 
A goal line situation. Unnecessary roughness. Automatic first down. And it looks like they're going to retake the lead here. If they do. Good. They're down by three now. It is in the fourth. That's a good run by Campbell for 11. Like dive picks up a couple. Lancey back to throw. Pass is complete. First down to gun. Lancey back to throw again. Out of the backfield to Campbell for six. Draw makes it third and two. I was going to say, I probably shouldn't go for this, but I'm going to. Huge play. Huge play on fourth and two. Touchdown, Clancy to Freeman. 46 yards. And we, we take the lead at 24 to 20. It's a big second half for the offense. It's still not going to lead to a bowl game. But, uh, you know, if we can emerge victorious over Miami, in Miami, that's a big win for us. We're back, back to throw, completes it. First down. Offsides, first and five. First and ten. Pass is thrown away by Winchester. We can't even stop their backup quarterback. I just saw first and 10. Yeah. Oh, uh, defensive pass interference. Uh, taunting penalty. Yes, we will accept the taunting penalty for sure. He picked up no yards and then taunted. That's interesting. Pass is intercepted. There we go. Ronald Bell, does he go all the way? Ronald Bell to the house. Touchdown, Eagles. Big second half here for the Eagles. So we're up 11. Game's still not over. Second four. Stop them there. Third and three. How much time is left? Seven and a half. It's always the fullback, man. Unsportsmanlike conduct. So that's a big play for them. They're on our 40. Another big play for them. Another first down. Back to pass. Incomplete. Neutral zone infraction. They run it. Pick up a couple. Third and two. I saw first and goal show up there. Second and goal. Stop him again. Third and goal. How much time is left now? 342. Pass is complete. Yep, touchdown. <laughs> going for two. He's going to make it a three-point game. And they get it. So it is a 31-28 lead. We bring the return out. First and 10, and we come out chucking. That's what I like to see. Second and inches. Pick up the first. Stop there. Second and 10. Third and four. They have no timeouts left. There's 213 left in the quarter. And a penalty, because of course. Did we get the first? Oh, we came up just short. All right, we're going to punt it. That first down would have ended it. All right, here we go. Spiked it. Pass is complete. Third and in inches. Pass is incomplete. Fourth and in inches. Pass is incomplete, and we're going to walk out of here with a victory over the Miami Hurricanes. Let's go, Eagles. 31-28. to We're going to finish the season 5-7. and seven. 
We're not going to make a playoff, but uh, that is a nice way to end it with Clancy going 17 for 25, 215 and three touchdowns. Campbell almost 100 rushing yards. Gun at a big game. We had a sack from Strickland, a pick from Bell. That works for me. At least I don't think we get a bowl game at, at five and seven. I could be wrong, but and we're gonna have I'm gonna just sim. We got a bunch of of we have the a lot we have the next three weeks off. So uh, we get Anthony Rodents. We pick up a three star defensive tackle. We don't have any games left, so we'll have to uh come up with other ways to to bring people in, but uh we can do a facility tour here. We have six hours left. We'll do a home visit and let's go ahead and remove the scholarship offer and hide. Uh, yeah, he's not coming to us. 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 So let's remove the scholarships. Let's hide them. Let's see what we can come up with here for the last couple of uh last couple of weeks on committed Jesse Long oh we hit him okay Gail Satterfield let's call him let's interview him looking for zero or one Yeah, and we do need depth, so I can't be, like, concerned necessarily about... We need offensive linemen. We need offensive linemen. Yeah, so let's look at... Guards. We got somebody there with no offers, so let's go ahead and make an offer there. Let's look at tackles. Somebody with no offers there. Let's do that. Let's see if that'll work. Let's look at centers. Oh, man, I mean, there's still some really good centers here. None of them are going to come and play for us, but... Um, what else did we need, per se? Defensive tackle, defensive end, yeah. Here we got the best with no offers. We can offer him. A defensive end. Oof, a lot of offers. You got there, you got one with no offers. Um, and then who's the best player left with no offers? Three star cornerback, sure. Wide receiver, because we need a couple of wide receivers as well. So targets. Um, five and five. All right, let's sim. We'll sim the last couple of weeks here. Davis and Clements went elsewhere. Crawford has got some interest in us now. Let's go heavier into him. Redding has some cool interest in us. Wow, look at all that. 16 offers, Roundtree all of a sudden with 10 offers. Brock all of a sudden with 10 offers. Hide, hide, hide. Um, messenger home visit. Let's attend a high school game. 
phone call. Satterfield up to nine offers. He's not coming to us. Um, Jason Bolt only has one offer, so let's. It looks like somebody has removed a scholarship offer for him from him. So I'll jump in and make him an offer. Ross Kelly, we don't need another quarterback, I don't think. Cornerback, free safety, sure. Let's do that. Sim through the week. There we go. We pick up a bunch of recruits. And guys, I'm going to pause for just a minute. <clears throat> all right. Sorry about that. Somebody opened up the garage beneath me. So, all right. Uh, good. Uh, we picked up a handful of recruits. Um, Monty McCullough came in. We got Kruger, Anthony Roden, Teddy Thompson. So we got some depth along the defensive line, which is nice. Uh, we pick up a four-star linebacker in Earl Pollard, a three-star guard in Jeremy Messenger. We're up to the 49th overall. Uh, class. Let's look at our commits. Let's look at the better players first. Earl Pollard, B tab, B plus tackling, only C speed, but the number one recruit out of Puerto Rico. So again, I lean heavily on those um, more uh, uh, remote areas, and that tends to work. Monte McCullough, um, number three overall out of Delaware. Uh, not great hands, but good speed, good tackling. Jeremy Messenger, B minus pass block, B run block, 96 leadership. Um, yeah, so overall, not bad. We have a ton of scholarships. A ton of scholarships still. Uh, actions. Yeah, and I think we're... No, I think I don't think we're done. I think we uh let's make a few offers to some players who don't have any. Uh where did we need we needed help on the offensive line, right? Yeah. So there's a tackle. There's a guard here. And a kicker. Sure, we could bring in a kicker. Wouldn't mind bringing in a, a top uh top 1000 kicker. We could use a center right there. I want to save some of that recruiting money. What else do we need? Use another linebacker or two, I guess. But again, we'll still have the transfer portal, so I don't want to go all in here, but let's just do that. See if we can pick up some of these players. Sim the week. Wow, we got a bowl game. I did not expect that. We have a bowl game. We're going to the Las Vegas Bowl against Alabama. All right, so all these players rejected our offers. They all went elsewhere. That's not ideal. So let's look at uncommitteds again. And we're into the thousands, but that's fine. We we definitely need some uh some depth on our team as well. So let's offer up again a couple of line a uh, couple of linemen. Uh linebacker. A we have a center in here someplace. There, sure. Again, three stars, not great, but you need that depth to try to help you. Um 
how long have I been going for? I don't, I mean, playing another game wouldn't necessarily be the, yeah, we've already been going for an hour. So, um, I think I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, we're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. We got a bowl game against Alabama in the Las Vegas bowl. Um, chances are that video will come out here over the next day or two as, um, uh, I'm a bachelor this weekend and I got nothing to do but record videos. So uh, stick around and let's see if we can win our first bowl game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all soon.